internal bleaching, endodontic retreatment and direct restoration after endodontic treatment. Very interesting case this time. Let's go. Hello dear friends, this time on our BG Dental Cases review I will present very interesting clinical situation where after endodontic treatment we decided to do very conservative approach towards restorative part. So let's go, let me introduce you initial situation so you can see lateral incisor uh, that is discolorated. And this is pretty young uh, patient. Uh, she was about 15 or 16 years old and she came with her mom and her mom uh, guided us to uh, perform crown over that lateral incisor. She said that uh, my daughter received endodontic treatment recently and I know from internet, she was searching in internet this information and she said that after endodontic treatment when we lose nerve from teeth they become uh, dark. So the only solution in such a cases is to put crown. And uh, from one side I was pretty happy because I don't need to convince my patient to put crown because sometimes it's not easy in proper case when crown is indicated to guide your patient to accept that treatment plan. But in this case I was guided by patient already. So I can say yes we can put crown which will be pretty fast and relatively expensive treatment which is good for clinic. But we have to be more doctors and to evaluate clinical situations from many perspectives and to find out the proper option of treatment for every single clinical case. So we examined this one. We made few photographs, especially the one with polarized filter that you can see now on your screen. The polarized filter removes uh, highlights from surface and uh, you are able to see the core color and when you take your um, the shade guide for example you can take a picture and you can evaluate the difference and also that picture may be your start point to evaluate the results of your treatments especially when you do bleaching procedures not just endodontic bleaching but maybe n normal ones so you can more objective, uh, evaluate the results of your treatment. So, uh, we actually examined also the root canal surface and we found out the, that we, we had a very bad non-fitted filling and we had non-cleaned pulp chamber. So, the one of the common reasons why teeth after endodontic treatment become dark is that it is not sufficient removal of soft tissues, pulp tissues from the pulp chamber. When we have these tiny thin pulp horns uh, not removed, you may expect the discoloration in nearest future and teeth will become, you know, this, the, the, the brown or slight pink color or whatever. So we, this is the reason why it happens. The organic tissue, necrotic tissue may cause this, um, this problem. So what we have to do is, in such a case, uh, we can actually remove these pulp horns, clean everything, and then we can do internal bleaching, for example. So I removed all filling. I removed pulp horns, okay? Then we made endodontic retreatment. The reason why is that after removal of the old filling, we found a lot of ne necrotic tissues and carious lesions under filling, which can say that the root area is infected. So that's why we decided to do root canal retreatment. So once we finish root canal retreatment, now I will give you some very important tips that may uh, help you to avoid resorption afterwards because we know that the main compliance after 
some of some of uh, endodontic or internal bleaching is resorption. So how to avoid a resorption is to provide proper sealing of your root surface. So we made obturation up to a orifice area, then we took hot plaguer and we received some space for uh, filling. So the depth or let's say the size or the thickness of filling the 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 barrier has to be about two or three millimeters so that space has to be given for very hermetic restorative material I prefer to go with composite in uh, adhesive way so what we made we create space with hot plagger, then I made my adhesive protocol with a very thin uh, micro brushes because in this case you don't you 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 shouldn't contaminate with your bonding agent the uh, coronal area from inside you have to work exactly in the root area okay so we made bonding then we use bulk fill we made this two millimeter uh, plug light cured and now I'm safe that my material that I will be using for uh, internal bleaching will not affect the root surface okay so in this case we use sodium perborate by the way it's very old-fashioned uh, product a very old-fashioned uh, material it is not so efficient as for example a polysense endo from ultradent but it is safer it works for for 10 or 15 days not like two days you have to wait 10 15 days then you may evaluate your result but you are more safe in terms of resorptions so here you can see the result after internal bleaching and direct composite restoration the very conservative approach the very a lot of tooth structure were, were preserved and the result is the result is pretty go, uh, pretty pretty nice and now you can see the difference you have picture with polarized filter and shade guide before and you have the same with a shade guide after so it's more objective to evaluate okay and what else I would like to say if you are interested in uh, endodontic treatments and proper endodontic treatments and retreatments also and restorations after endodontic treatment I'm more than happy to invite you to join us at our Bel Bel Belgrade Academy in Kiev during our hands-on course from endodontics to restoration en.belgrade.com the link or you can see the link uh, below this video in the description so the course is about endodontic treatments primary sacred uh, retreatments post endodontic rehabilitation preparations also only for seven people very exclusive format very intensive hands-on from morning to till late evening so will be our guest i'll be more than happy to see you and, and to share everything i know in this discipline okay so again uh, let me go back to this uh, clinical case and just show you the sequence before and after that treatment of young patient 16 years old with conservative approach using internal bleaching and direct composite restoration don't forget to sign up to our youtube channel guys and uh, hope to hear from you in comments maybe you have something to share with audience maybe you have your own approach to make internal bleaching in efficient way feel free everybody will be happy to learn from you also and uh, to make this information exchange so i would like to wish you to be healthy and uh, may the dental force be with you see you next time bye bye